Welcome to Chapter 6.3 Commissions, Royalties, and Piecework Pay. So, those of you who are in Financial Algebra, this is Lesson 6.3. We're going to be talking about probably the best way to make money. I mean, it really comes down to sales, right? Sales is the highest paid profession of all time. And we got a couple of vocabulary words that will help us describe what kind of uh, sales commissions, sales royalties, and piecework that we get paid on. And um, personally, I mean, getting paid a commission is probably the greatest uh, way to get paid, in my opinion, because uh, your potential to earn is immensely, I don't know, it blows up. I mean, the sky's the limit. There is no limit to how much you can make when you get paid on a commission. So first vocabulary word is commission. It's pay based on the number of sales that you make. Sell a product, earn a percentage of the sales price. So for example, a realtor can sell a house and earn a commission, or he can sell 10 houses and earn 10 commissions. Just depends on how well he sells, and the more he can sell, the more he's gonna make. There is no limit to the number of houses they can sell. He doesn't have to work six hours in a day, eight hours in a day, clock out and go home. He can, he or she can continue to sell and make as much money as they want. Next would be a royalty. Now, a royalty is something uh, that is usually paid to people like uh, musicians, authors, actors, and this is a revenue earned from the sale of an intellectual property, um, usually something like a book, uh, music, movie. These are these are types of works that are pretty much done one time. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of hard work that goes into making a movie. There's a lot of hard work that goes into making a book. There's a lot of hard work that goes into making music. But once that's completed, the continued sales of that product or the usage of that product, for example, uh, a song, a song that we love comes on the radio. Every time it's played on the radio, there is a royalty paid to the um, to the artist. And they get paid every time that song plays. Same thing with the movie. Every time the movie plays, they get paid a royalty. So royalties are another great way of earning a large amount of money. Because you have to do the work one time, but you continue to get paid over and over and over again. Uh, the next vocabulary word we have is peace worker. Now a peace worker is someone who's paid based on the amount of products they produce, not, uh, not the time it takes to produce the product. So when you're an employee, you clock in, you exchange your time for money. When you're a piece worker, it doesn't matter how long a particular product uh, takes you to make, it's how many of them are you making. So you get paid on the, the production number, you know, the product numbers that you create, not the time that you put into the company. So a piece worker is paid a piece work rate. Now this is the amount that they are paid per item they complete. So like a freelance journalist or like freelance photographers like Spider-Man or Peter Parker. He's a piecework rate. He gets a piecework rate for every photograph that he that he um, takes to the Daily Bugle. Okay, so that's kind of the, the piecework. Uh, he's, he is a pieceworker. He doesn't actually work at the Daily Bugle. He's not getting a salary from the Daily Bugle. Spider-Man or Peter Parker anyways gets paid when he takes a picture if the Daily Bugle buys the picture. So... Those are the vocabulary words that we have for this particular start of our chapter, and we're going to get into some of these problems. Liam wrote a textbook for MikeRust.org. He receives a 10% royalty based on the total sales of the book. The book sells for $47.95, and there were 17,000 copies that were sold last year. How much did Liam receive in royalty payments for last year? And then we're going to do this algebraically, I'm assuming. Uh, Liam wrote, writes math books that sell for X dollars each year. He receives a $2,500 bonus for signing the contract and then 8% commission on each book sold. Express his total income uh, from selling Y books. So let's start at the first uh, question that we have here. So the first one is he gets a 10% royalty on the total sales of the book. And uh, the books sell for $47.95 and 17,000 copies. So what we have to do is we first have to figure out what his gross sales are. So we take the $17,000 or the 17,000 copies and we're going to multiply that by the $47.95 that he earns for each individual book. So the total gross sales on this is $815, or eight, sorry, $815,150. 
So that's almost a million dollars. So those are the total gross sales for the 17,000 books. Then we have to, he gets a 10% commission, so we have to take that $815,150 and multiply it by 0 .10, which is 10% expressed as a decimal. Remember, percent meaning cents, and you know, remember that word cents on the end? So we write 10% as we would write it in cents of a dollar, so it'd be 10%. So when we, move, when we multiply something by 10%, essentially we move the decimal over one place. So instead of 815,150, his commission was $81,515. So that, uh, actually, they called it a royalty. So his royalty on those book sales was $81,515. Okay, for the algebra part, he needs to sell, uh, I mean, he's selling a total of Y books for X dollars, and he's earning 8% commission, commission on the book sales. Um, and then he also got a $2,500 signing bonus. So the the same equation we worked up top where we're saying that he sold y books that represents the 17,000 so if we replace the 17,000 with y and then the forty seven dollars and ninety five cents is the x value in this section because he sells each y book for x dollars so we got y times x and that's going to give us the total that we sold in gross sales and if we look at our second part of our equation that we did in the first problem we take the total gross sales and multiply it by the commission rate the ten percent in this case we're multiplying this commission rate by 0.8 so multiply y times x times 0 0.08 0 0.08 be careful that you don't put 0.8 because 0.8 would be 80 percent and we're looking for 8 percent so it's y times x times 0 0.08 and that gives us um the total amount of commission that he earned for the for selling y books uh, at X dollars and an 8% commission. Now the only thing that's missing from this part is to add in the $2,500 signing bonus and that right there is our uh, is our expression for this problem. Alright, problem number two. Mila sells makeup. She earns 11% commission of her first $900 in sales and then 17% commission on the balance of her sales. So anything above that $900 she earns more. Last month she sold $1,250 worth of makeup. How much commission did she earn last month? And then we're going to do this algebraically. Mila earned 7% of her first X dollars in sales and 10% of the balance of her sales. Last week she sold Y dollars, expressed the commission earned algebraically. So let's start with the first part and then we'll go from there. So again, this is problem number two. And the first thing we need to do is figure out what her commission is on the first $900. Okay, so she's gonna, we're gonna take that $900 that she earned, and we're gonna multiply that by 11% expressed as a decimal, so that's 0 .11, 11 cents, and that's gonna give us a total of $99. Now the $99 is what she earned in commission for the first 900. The rest of the money, the difference between the $1,250 and the $900 that she earns in commission at 11% is a total of $350. Now that $350, she doesn't earn 11% anymore. She earns more commission. She earns 17% of that money. So we multiply the uh, $350 by 17% and that's going to give us $59.50. Now she earned $99 for the first $900. And then the remaining 350, the balance of her sales, she earned 5950. And if we add those two numbers together, so 99 plus 5950, we end up with 158 dollars and 50 cents. That's the total commission that she earned last month. So uh, let's look at this algebraically, and we're gonna say. Um, express the commission earned algebraically. Now when I express the commission earned algebraically, I understand that there's two separate equations that I did. I had to do an equation for the first part, which is the uh, the 11% in the first problem, and then 17% for the remaining balance. So I need to, to since I'm going to work with two equations, this is going to be a piecewise function. So I'm going to use P of X to represent um, the commission that I'm going to earn. Right? And then the first equation that I did, the first equation represented, uh, in this case, it's 7% of the first X dollars. 
So I'm going to take um, my my uh, seven percent of the first X dollars, meaning seven percent. Right, that is a decimal. Point zero seven times X. Now this only works when the X value, which is the dollars, um, are greater than or equal to the Y value in this case, which is the dollars that she sold. In other words. Um, just like in the previous example, it only works for up to the $900. So if the X dollars in sales, the first amount that, that we get sell is equal to or greater than uh, the Y dollar in total sales. So in other words, if she earned up to $900 um, and anything below $900, so anything she sold up to and equal to $900, then this first equation would apply. So we have to write a little condition here. We got to say it's 0.07x and that only works when x is greater than or equal to y. And that's our first part of the piecewise function. The second part of the piecewise function, she's still going to earn 7%. So we write 0.07x. But then we have to add in the 10%. So it's and so we're going to say 0.07x plus uh, 0 0.10 the 10% and this only happens when the difference, when the total sales that we made, which is Y, is uh, greater than uh, X. So the difference between the Y sales and X sale and the X amount that we earned in commission, if that difference is greater than uh, as a positive value, then we're going to get 10% of that positive value. In other words, if, if the first part, the 0 0.07 is represented by the $900 that we made, then I'm only going to get 7% um, of that first 900. But if I made 901 or 902 or 1,000, that, that extra dollar or two or 1,000, I get an extra 10% on. Now, this second equation in the piecewise function only works when y is greater than x. So that's the two pieces. So in other words, if I make less than, uh, than y, if, if X is greater than Y, I'm sorry, then I only make 7%. But if Y is greater than X, then I make 7% on the first amount and then 10% on the second amount. All right, example number three here. Heather makes dresses and is paid a piecework rate of $85 per unit produced. In other words, per dress made. Yesterday she made three dresses. How much did she earn? And then we're going to do the same problem algebraically, of course. Here is uh, Heather is paid X dollars for each dress. Last year she made Y dresses, expressed the total piecework algebraically. So the first thing we need to do is realize that she's getting paid, simple math, right? $85 per dress. And she sold three dresses. So we're going to take $85 and we're going to multiply it by three because that's how many times she got paid $85. And it means she made a total of $255 in... Uh, piecework rate because she made three dresses now it could have taken her three hours it could have, it could have taken her 12 hours it doesn't matter the time that it took she as a piecework uh, as a piece worker and getting a piecework rate earned $255 for the three dresses flat okay so uh, Heather is paid X dollars for each dress so where the 85 was we're gonna replace that with X because that's the new variable that we're replacing because we don't know how much she gets paid per dress now. And then last year she made Y dresses. So we're going to multiply that X by Y. And when we do that, we get X Y or X times Y. And that is our algebraic expression to figure out how much she got paid in total piecework for that year. She could have made a hundred dresses. She could have made a thousand dresses. She could make five dollars per dress she could have made a hundred dollars per dress but now we can insert those those numbers in for the variables so we can uh, substitute in and figure out how much she made uh, for the year example number four we have James here and he gets paid 45 cents for the first 200 containers of strawberries picked and then 65 cents for each container picked above 200 so last week he picked 270 containers how much did he earn so we're gonna use two separate equations here to figure out how much he earned for each of the different sections for the first 200 it's 45 cents each for the anything above that it's 65 cents each so first we're gonna take um, for this problem, we're going to start off with the 200 
different uh, the 200 containers that he so that he picked and he's gonna get paid 45 cents for each one so we're gonna multiply that 200 by 0.45 and that's gonna give us a total of 90 so he made $90 uh, for the first 200 uh, containers of strawberries and then since he sold 270 that difference between 200 so that's uh, sorry 270 minus 200 is going to give us that $70 difference. Okay, I'm sorry, 70 container difference. So now we know that there's 70 containers above that 200, right? And so we take that 70 containers and multiply it by the 65 cents that he earns for each one, and that gives us $45.50. Now, when we add the $45.50 and the 90 cents, that's going to give us the total amount 90 plus 45.50. And that's going to give us a total amount of $135.50. That's what he earned for uh, the day, or well, however, last week, sorry. That's what he earned last week for picking the strawberries, 270 containers. So when we do this algebraically, James earned $0.11 cents per crate of potatoes. Last week, he earned a total of X dollars. Express the number of crates he, uh, she got paid algebraically. He got paid algebraically. For this problem, I'm going to use an equation to help come out with come up with the expression. And I'm going to need a second variable. So in our previous example, we took 200 times 45, where 200 is the number of crates that were uh, that were picked. And in our example here, we're working with potatoes. So I'm going to use instead of uh, the number 200, I'm going to use P for potatoes, and I'm going to get paid 11 cents, which means I'm going to multiply the P times 11 cents. And that's going to equal the X dollars that I earned. Now, I don't know how many, how much money I earned. It's X dollars. It's a variable because I don't know how many crates of potatoes I picked. So once I have my equation written out like this, if I want to figure out how much money I earned, right? If I want to figure out, um, I'm sorry, if I want to know how many, uh, Express the number of crates he paid algebraically, so I want the P to be by itself. I'm going to divide by the 11 cents that I'm originally multiplying by. And when I do that, when I divide the 11 cents on both sides, I end up with P, which is the number of crates I want on the other side. And the expression earn part is the other half of the equation here. It's X divided by 11 cents. So if I know how much money I earned, if I know the X dollars and I divide it by the 0.11, the 11 cents, it's going to tell me how many crates of potatoes that I picked. Okay, example number five, Armando is going to earn three different commission percentages based on sales. So here we go. Armando earns a profit of the uh, a percentage of the company profits. He earns 20% profits for anything less than 750. Anything more than 750 and less than or equal to 1000, he earns 22% of the profits. Anything over 1000 uh, and over a $1000 profit, he earns 25%. If X represents the profit, express the commission as a piecewise function. So we got three separate equations here, three separate equations. So first we have to say, okay, we're going to do the three equations as costs of a uh, cost function of X as a piecewise function of X. So the cost of X is going to be one of three things. It's either going to be a 20%, a 22% or a 25%. So let's start with the 20%. So it's going to be 0.20 times x because he earns 20% um, of the x profits so we don't know how much profit it is but the first one we know that he earns 20% and that's gonna happen when uh, x is less than 750 but greater than or equal to 0 so he can earn 20% of 0 or he can earn 20% up to not including 750 so the next one, so that's the 20%, he can earn 22%, so it's 0.22 times the profits of X. And that's going to happen when he earns $750 um, all the way up to $1,000. And so if we put the X in the middle and use the inequalities, now X has to be less than or equal to 1000 or greater than or equal to 750. So if he makes, if the company profits 750, he's going to get 22% of 750. If the company profits 900, he'll get 22% of that 900. If he profits a thousand, he gets 22% of that thousand. And then the last one we have here is 25%. 
of the x profits and that's going to happen when x is greater than a thousand so anything more than a thousand dollars in profits he's going to get 25 percent of that and that's how we create the piecewise function and it represents three different equations depending on how much profit we earn we use one of those equations either the 20 percent the 22 percent or the 25 percent jimmy works at retail me and is paid commission he gets 10% of the first $900 in sales and 15% of anything above $900. So last week he earned $750. What's the total value of the items sold? Now for this problem, we need to consider the two piecewise functions. But we don't actually need to create the two piecewise functions. Um, well, the, the entire piecewise function anyways. So the first part of it is the 10% commission that he earns on the first $900. So it's 10% 0 .10, And we're going to multiply that by $900. Okay, that's the first part of our uh, of our commission system here. The second part is he's going to have a difference between the 900 and whatever he sells. And since we don't know whatever he sells, we're going to use the letter X. So the second part of that is X minus 900. That's going to tell us the difference in, in uh, commission that he earned at the next rate. And the next rate is 15% of that amount. So that difference between X minus 900, we need to multiply that by 15%. And so now we got the two pay scales together. And if I sell anything more than that $900, I'm going to need to add these two differences or these two uh, equations because the first part of the 900, I'm going to get paid at 10%. The rest after the 900 is the 15%. So I need to add these things together. I'm going to have 0 0.10 times 900 plus 0.15 times x minus 900 and I know that those are the two ways that I get paid commission and this uh, well how I don't even know how long it was, was it? this uh, this week he earned seven hundred and fifty dollars okay so he earned some money in the ten percent some money in the fifteen percent but he earned a total of seven hundred and fifty dollars so now what we got to do is uh, distribute this the ten percent and the fifteen percent and then solve for x so when we do that, 10% of 900 is going to be 90, plus 15% of x is going to be 0.15x, and then 15% of negative 900 is going to be negative 135, and that equals 750. Now we can combine our terms. We got 0.15x because I can't combine any of the anything else with with an x term and then I got negative 135 and a positive 90 and when I add those two together I get negative 45 and that's going to equal 750 now I'm working to isolate the x term so I'm going to add 45 to both sides because remember in math we don't things don't just disappear they actually turn into zeros so we got 0.15x zeros or ones in this case a zero so we got 0.15x is equal to 750 plus 45 comes out to be seven hundred and ninety five dollars and then I got 0.15 X now I need to turn this 0.15 into 1 so that I only have one X left over so I need to divide by 0.15 and I did the same thing to both sides to keep my equation in balance 795 divided by 0.15 is going to be five thousand three hundred and so what this is telling me is he sold five thousand three hundred dollars in uh, total items the value of the total items and when he did that the first nine hundred he earned ninety dollars in commission and then he earned fifteen percent of the remaining amount which in total came out to be seven hundred and fifty dollars for his week's uh, commissions so as you can see Earning commissions can earn you a lot of money. There are different commission levels at different rates of sales. So the better salesperson you are, the more money you're going to make. You're going to earn more money on the higher end. So I always encourage my students to, yes, get a job. This is the employment basi basics. Get a job, pay your bills, but always start a side business. Learn to be a salesperson. Whatever it is that you're selling, you can be passionate about. But that stuff is going to make you the extra income that you need 
so that you can reach retirement or build yourself uh, a sustainable income to buy some more time back rather than going to work and exchanging your time for money. So uh, hopefully this this um, section is uh, as important to you as it is to me so that you can learn to make the most amount of money possible so you can buy time to enjoy the rest of your life. All right, see you guys in the next chapter.